Hey, what's up, everybody? Metal Biker Dude coming at you here. Uh, all right, so uh, it is now Friday. I, I started working uh, on uh, Thursday on, on some of these, and this is a continuation from yesterday for some stuff for Michael. Uh, and we have been doing some somewhat obscure stuff, some not, uh, but this one here is uh, Benthic Realm and it's a song called save us all um yeah so let's get into this uh let me get you guys on screen here i don't think it's a video but i'm not a hundred percent sure on that so we'll get that other ugly face off there all right let's do this I know it's 26 seconds in, but I, I, one one thing, and, and I've never said this on this channel, I don't believe, but one thing that I always felt like was missing from some modern metal, modern metal is a fuzz pedal. And nobody uses a fuzz pedal anymore. This guy's using a fuzz pedal. And... It's, it's very welcoming on the ears for me. I'm a little bit old school, uh, so and, and I'm a guitar player, so I'm very familiar. I've got a lot of fuzz pedals, and uh, they don't, fuzz pedals don't really cut through the mix crazy like a, a, like a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier with a tube screamer on it, but... Um, it, it, it's got a very unique sound, and I just love that tone. I love the sound of, the, of a fuzz pedal, and it's, it's a welcome change. Love the singer. Um, it's a little old school. The, this whole thing is kind of old school. So the drum, um, the beats per minute, the, just the way he attacks, um, and and the chord progression that the guitar and the bass player are playing, very reminiscent of some Slayer stuff. Okay, and then you come in with this singer. Who kind of got this? Uh, uh, who's the singer for um, the original singer for? Uh, oh my goodness, I'm having a lot of brain farts here. He sounds like he could have slid right into an '80s metal band, and I like that a lot. I like that a lot. It's cool for me. Maybe not for everybody, but for me, it's cool as hell. Nice transition there. Ah.
Okay, so it was a good solo. It it didn't overwhelm me, um, but it, it was there were some unique things going on there, which is always welcome. Um, you know, when you when you hear sweep after sweep, you know it 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 honestly it gets a little tiring to listen to, especially and I'm quite sure, especially if you're not a guitar player. Um, so creating unique sounds. Uh, it's all here, man. You know, you can have Kempers and Black Stealths and Mesa Boogies and Orange and all of that stuff. The tone's right here. And he's got a unique approach, a, a, a unique attack. And that's cool. Um, you know, I've often said a quarter note, a full note in some cases, can be so, it can move you so much more than a 16th note you know I want to point something out here. Uh, I, I, so when he's singing this, um, I'm pretty sure it's it's a guy. I, I was, we did some female vocalists. That's why that. But it sounds like a guy to me. Um, he he does this uh, this little thing where he's kind of squeezing his balls in a sense, you know, and and delivering the lyrics with some passion and um i will take passion over great chops all day that's how i feel uh, and i rethought my original comment about it was it's the band pull that sings pull me under i can't believe i can't john petrucci mike portnoy i'm having a brain fart here but actually the more i hear he sounds a little more like maybe like a, a, a Miles Kennedy uh, type thing, uh, which I love Miles Kennedy. A drummer, a little time to shine there.
A lot of aggression. And you don't always get that in Doom Metal. Um, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I would call that Doom Metal. Um, it actually was, it was like a modern Doom Metal. Well, that's, there's a lot of modern Doom Metal. Um, I think you know what I mean. But uh, very good song, well constructed. Um, I love the transitions. And uh, you could tell there was some passion there. And it, it, not just with, with the vocalist. Um, you, there, was, there was an energy there. And uh, I, I think the producer did a good job at, at capturing that energy. Um, I probably would have mixed it a little different. Um, but that is a <laughs> mixing can be a very subjective thing. Um, one thing that I've learned when I've recorded bands is I never let anybody in the studio when I'm mixing. And the reason is, is because invariably and inevitably, the guitar player wants to hang around and talk, right? Every time he wants to hang around and talk, he wants to pick my brain, he says. No, I know what he's doing and I'm on to you just like that. He wants to be a part of that mix so he can push the guitars up and things like that. And then the drummer says, hey, man, I want them things to sound like thunder. And, you know, well, there's only so much frequency band to work with. <laughs> and um, quite frankly, it, there's not enough to please everybody. So it is subjective. I get that. Uh, but it was a good song, man. It really was. Metal Biker Dude, peace. Peace.